Well, hello, friends, and welcome to another video. We have returned. Uh, I had to do a bit of a, a sidestep and make a bunch of frogs. I didn't have to, I chose to. The only thing I changed while we were gone was adding in this little plant holder here. Sarah has a hanging pot at her booth. I also found a shorter pot for our new smaller gazing orb. They're called meteor marbles and they're vintage. I have now bought uh, seven, two in the wrong size. One was a replacement because it cracked and five in this size because that's the smallest amount it came in. We have our wood to install another beam out here and extend this for the signage. We also have this tiny mini-verse pot, which I drilled some holes in and then took apart a necklace and found all my jump rings. <laughs> and now we're going to have to make a plant to hang there. Adorable. Uh, we also need to put in some grass, which we have from Green Stuff World, which has all of your mini supply needs. We have big grass as well. But we'll get some of that filled in. Uh, maybe do some lighting and partially install one portion of the roof. We're still waiting for some all-important hooks right here to hang things from that are not giant hooks like this. And we have a teeny tiny frog that I painted that we're going to give a little home down there in the, the moss. A little singing frog down there. It's so cute. All right, well, um, I'm going to turn the sound off so that I can make all kinds of noise and let the cats attack the door without you hearing it. And we will continue along on this adventure, adding in our little plant. Looks like I still have one chain too long. Maybe not. Maybe we're all a little crooked. Anyway, well, we'll install a plant in there and uh, get up to some other shenanigans, and I'll keep you abreast of the situation. Let's begin. so that's where we're at. This is not attached because I'm still going to have to move things around. I used a little bit of an ink wash just to kind of make that look a little more aged in the form of terracotta that it is. Our plant is hanging and looking precious as hell. I did have to like remove some links and balance it out and I almost rolled through my finger with a Dremel tool. That I did not catch on film, thankfully. And I have been banned by myself from power tools after midnight. Anyway, um, we have some grass in, as you can see, which is my first experience using this cool grass from Green Stuff World. Green, yeah, Green Stuff World. The tufts. So we got to use those, and I think we need to... Ooh, geez, that's, well, that's why I didn't screw that on, so I can put it in a protected area so I don't break it. Like the other one. Anyway, um, I removed that from my scope of sweep. Anyway, um, I think we need to add some grass amongst here because there's no way that the grass would not be getting 
you know, just little patches that need to be weeded here and there. And then in case you had missed it or missed him or just wanted to see him again, there's the little gopher buddy, little groundhog down there, just raising hell. We still have to glue in the frog. And then lastly, um, as one of the items for sale and or this could be in the packing area, I cut, where the hell did my wood go? Oh, for, oh, there it is. Thank God. Jeez, criminy. I mean, I know I do things late at night. Uh, so this is going to be the beam that we add on because this is equal in width to the size of the other beams. So we're trying to trick in a third beam here. This is the furthest out at a 90 degree angle. I can get the beam before it starts awkwardly stepping off the edge. So like literally it's the difference of one length of beam that makes it look insane or not. So we have to go with there. Trust me on this. I've looked at it every other way. I've had a lot of sticks out. So we're going to cut these off, paint them, add another cross beam, glaze these because they are nude. And then as far as products, I found these super cute little ornament boxes and we are going to rip those ornaments right out of there and chuck them because we do not care about the ornaments. We're going to put little rocks in there. Like she's packing up little rocks at the little checkout station. And yes, did I make sure that the catch register would fit there and this would fit here? One little box like she's packing someone's order. You bet your ass I did. Because that's the kind of neurosis that is driving this project. Anyway, so uh, I will let you tune back into the peaceful sounds. Oh, I need to also, I don't know, we'll get through this in a one video, but I also need to add some lichens, a la these lichens, into the rocks where there's little holes. Because lichens obviously would live in there. Even though it's not as shady. Maybe not that many, or maybe just in the shady holes. We'll go with just the shady holes. And that miraculously has stayed on despite me weeing this thing around. Anyway, it's, uh, it's all coming along, and um, yeah, and then we'll need to fill in here with some grass and then maybe some, like, clovery looking flowers, perhaps. That's neither here nor there. Let's get to work on the beam extension for the checkout area that will also have a side halter eventually. And uh, all the other stuff we talked about, including placing the frog. All right. Ready, break. Go team.
All right, it's the following day. We're gonna take our little tape crutches off here and uh, give this another once over with the paint and then do our little rock boxes to finish out this chapter. In the next one, we will probably be doing signs or some such. Not sure. We have a lot to we have a lot to get through. Anyway, uh, let's finish it off strong and um, decrutch and paint this so it blends in just a little better. And we will leave it at that for this one. I hope you are enjoying this adventure in miniatures crafting, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.